Hello everybody and welcome to the Rokana Craft Server. Wow, look how high we jump. And yes, I look fabulous. Uh, we do have a couple of extra or new mods on the server. We had uh, Bibliocraft on here for the armor stands like we normally do. But as you can see, this is not a Bibliocraft armor stand. This is Traveler's Gear. Uh, the problem was Bibliocraft actually conflicted with something else and made it where if you crafted any of the items, it would crash the game. You didn't lose anything, but you would crash every time you tried to make one of them. So we put Traveler's Gear on here so we could have an armor stand. And Traveler's Gear actually gives a couple of other things, like these van braces, uh, the, however you say this, and a cloak. So, yeah, that's what these on my wrist, my shoulder, and our cloak is. Now, I do want to show you. The cloak does not look very good if you're not wearing a helmet. It looks like this. Yeah. They need to work on that. And let's see what Lilith is needing. Can you come here with a pickaxe, please? Yes. Well, I'll come with the hammer. <laughs> I, I do want to show, we are now wielding an assassin's blade. And we have fully enchanted um, and I just forgot I know where exactly where she probably is so we can get there quicker this way. But uh, we are using the Assassin's Blade. We also have the full Vampire Armor enchanted now. Let me guess there's an item stuck down here isn't there? Well, Moose, I don't hit you with the hammer. Now, one thing we are going to be doing today is helping Lilith obtain this lovely vampire armor because it gives a protection from the sun. Uh, yeah, that's the first thing we are going to be doing. And coming villager. <laughs> I love dropping these guys to their death. We got one that's trying to go back up the uh, initial path to get to the breeder again. No. Move. You're going to have to chase him around the room. Possibly. Yeah, vampires are aggressive when you attack them. I'm thinking of rigging something up where we don't have to use this button where there's something down below that we can hit. I know there are more villagers. Ah, they're over there with no water hitting them. Come on, guys. Move it. Move it. I may need to increase the glass wall length here. So that we can see all the way around. Alright, here they come. Yeah, there's only one left after that guy. Oh, no, there's another one. We got at least one more up here. We're pushing. He's fighting the water. Kind sir, move around. Uh, 
Now, once he gets into this water path over here, we got him. Yeah, he probably does know. Okay. Do you have the blood bottles? You oh, baby. You can feed on him. He's a werewolf one. It doesn't matter if he grows up or not. Okay, do you have the blood bottles? Okay. You're going to need iron. No, you don't need sleep, but I guess I could use some. It's been a long day. Yes, that's what the armor will help with. You won't get nausea yet. Now, the armor only helps a little bit. It's not a permanent, like once you reach a high enough level, the armor is useless. You have 16 iron. Uh, we'll see if that's enough. If not, I'll give you some iron. And you're going to need these. Okay, crafting table. First, make a U out of the... Make a cauldron recipe. Uh, make a cauldron. But don't pull the cauldron out. Put a blood bottle in the center spot. Uh, complete. Did it give you the armor? No. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, no, make an iron chest piece and put the uh, blood bottle on top of that. There you go. Okay, for the leggings, make a pair of iron leggings and put the uh, blood bottle in the crotch. Boots, make iron boots. Out of iron. Come with me. Ah, uh, yes. For the for everyone watching, I did build this storage room. Two iron, 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 iron. Let's see. You need about nine pieces of iron, so. There you go. Okay. For the boots, it's just the iron boot recipe with the blood bottle in between the top two ingots. Now, also in between episodes, I built this. This is a evil craft room. I also made the entangled chalice. But you get two of for the recipe, and it allows for fluid transfer back and forth. So my other entangled chalice is over here in my blood infuser, which now has a promise of tenacity three, fully upgraded. Blah. For the helmet, do a iron helmet recipe in the bottom part of the crafting grid. Blood bottle in the middle, flowers across the top. Or on bottom middle, flowers across the top. To get the effect of the armor, you do have to wear all four pieces. But yes, my blood infuser is able to now hold 640,000 metal buckets. 
And there is a lot I can do with this now. She is building us a castle. Now, I'll be nice and explain that the castle came at a cost. Or is the cost. Or what she's paying for something I did for her. You see, down here in these nice little hideaway rooms, we have the storage room, we have the coffin room. Over here we have the blood altar of inspiration. And over here we have worked our way up to an MK2 energy condenser. Which we turned around and then used to make her a energy condenser MK2. And ta-da! That's why she's building us a castle. We also enclosed the enchanting room. I got tired of getting hit by the sun in here. It's not really that hard. Ah, yes, we also have a K carrot form going over here. Now, today, did I get another invisible? I did. It's like the fourth invisible sword I've obtained. Yep. I do want to show people what's going to happen over here. Uh, that message that popped up, traveler sign, when you go to take and do that again, let me know. I want to show people what it looks like. Oh, you need to uh, go into your... Press O... Set your command so that O isn't compromised. You want to go somewhere safe, by the way. Hello, Invisible Line. I'm not going to let you get Lilith. Wow, the Invisible Line. Oh, God. I hate these guys. They are a pain. A third one. Wow. What is that supposed to be? O brings up the command for the uh, camera. Or, no, what it normally is, I don't know. You're going to have to scroll through your commands looking for O's. And while we're doing this, we are going to go ahead and grab some of the stuff we're going to need today. Okay, go into your controls. What do you have set for toggle option screen? Okay. 
go down to cam commands or no actually go to third person cam and let's see cut your third person cam third person on and then cut on players view cut on. yes I'm reading what the other ones are because it reset it from what I had them set up on the last server as show cameraman I like that one I mean just read what the different things do do not cut the fixed chunk unloading on do not cut it on it as it says it will crash the game what is yeah cut that one on that's the one that allows you to set the video speed but again and this is for those of y'all at home who want to use camera studio do not drop it below 10 times if you go for every point below 10 times you go it becomes more lag inducing okay now let's see need iron a little bit of redstone okay yes today we are going to build a reactor I'm not going to build a big reactor a big big reactor we're gonna build a small big reactor before you st you were killed by an invisible man yeah them guys are a pain in the butt I got it. One. Uh, go ahead and sleep. And I will meet you out on the construction site. Got your back. Isn't she a cute vampire? I'd better myself. So this is the construction site where Lilith is building us a castle. Alright. Hmm. I don't see your camera, man. Okay. Normally when I do it, there's a version of me floating up there. It's pretty cool. Okay. But let us get started with what we are doing. Could be. 
Alright, we need these. We're going to make a few of them. There we go. Normally, I would be worried about creepers. But I'm not. Well, there goes that recording. Uh, the Right here what happened with the fact that she left the game, her recording will stop. But as I was saying, I'm not worried about creepers at this point because they are no longer a threat to us. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Wow. So I'm just going to build the reactor outside. Nope, 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 nope. Out of there. We're going to start with a small one, the smallest one we can make. There we go. Now we'll go make the rest of the blocks we need. So, use. We are going to need one of these. That's it. We're going to need this. We need redstone for. I don't have any redstone on us because I forgot to grab any. Uh, right this second now. So we will drop off that. Redstone, we need one piece of redstone for this. With where I'm at in the world, that chunk will stay loaded in, so you ain't got to worry about that. Okay. Bam. Need that. Let's see. Uses. We need this. We need this. But first, let's go ahead and get these other pieces in place. storm uh, right let's go get diamonds and redstone well a diamond and redstone It might actually be useful to put a uh, crafting table down there, but I don't really want to put a crafting table down there right now because I don't plan on that being a, the storage room being a thing forever. Okay, there we go. We got that. We need the power tap. We can make quite a few of those. We're not going to, but we could. Um, 
Be right about up there. Yeah. Okay. I need some chest. Is this storming good out there? I did tell you being a vampire does not make the game any easier. It actually makes it a little harder. We need a we need two pistons. But luckily we don't need any more iron, so we can drop that off. And the redstone, I think. Yeah. We only need enough iron and redstone for the pistons. Some more wood. Uh, graphite. Y'all can go there for now. Because we need wood. Let's see, that's two. There's one. Should be enough there. Two, three, four, four. There is a spider on my roof. Oh, yeah. Might help if we actually make the pistons. Oh, we brought more wood than we needed. Piece. Bam, we have a reactor now. Let's go empty all this unnecessary stuff out of our inventory. Good out there. Right. Do want to get this reactor filled? Let's see how it's looking. is full. Kick that on. For now, I'm not going to leave it running all the time. This is just so when I need power, I do want it filled. Hello! Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you didn't get stuck down there, eh? There's like a bunch of mobs that are stuck down there. It's hilarious. Mostly vampire hunters and the occasional invisible man and vampire assassin. Yeah. 
Yay, power. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to get the upgrade for the chest because there has been some items in here that are not able to be repaired through the belt. And the blood chest is the only way to repair them. But that blood chest is horribly inefficient. So I do want to get a better one. But, hmm, which iron do we have? Oh, yeah, we're good on iron now. You know what? Let's see, we need to level up. As y'all can see, the purple four is my vampire level. I can no longer level up at this. So now we have to get into leveling up a different way. Have leveled up four plus. We already have this. We got this from a magic clover or a chest somewhere. I don't remember. We need these, which are expensive, but that's eh, all right. Let's see. Finish there first. Okay, we need five human hearts once we have the structure built. That's the first structure. So we need four of those spikes. Grab that iron. <sighs> now I do know also that the next tier of the structure because this is only like I said the first tier we'll get to level up a few times with it and then we will have to upgrade to the new tier structure and it requires two more of these than we are going to need right now okay we need stone bricks for this actually and luckily we don't need any blood anymore at this point for leveling up just human hearts. Uh, find some stone bricks if you want them. I only need a few of them. I've only got 16 and I'm going to need like 8 of them. I got some stone here though, and I can smelt down some cobble into stone with my super fuel. And we can change that bottle out. Get back in this inventory. Okay. Uh, I figured the side where the village is. Here, I got a whole stack for you. You have an invisible man down there. Two of them. Okay, it's clear down here. You want this stack? Half of 38? Hmm. I'm not sure right off the top of my head. Okay, now let's look at this structure we need. I do believe I want it facing north. So that's west, north. 
The reason I want it facing north is that's what direction the picture was taken out. I do remember that from uh, Prince of Darkness. So we will go over here with this for now. Is that cool looking? Now let's see. Looks like it's about there's three spaces in between, and I want to say there's about two spaces this way. So one, two, right there. This will be trial and error, definitely, because. Okay, frankly, it's hard to tell from the picture exactly how much space is in between. Missing items for this ritual. Yes, I am. We need human hearts. Hey guys, come here. Need to borrow your hearts. Come on, give me your hearts. All right, that's one. We are human heart hunting. Luckily, there are a lot of vampire hunters around, and we have looting three on our sword. Don't even need those bones right now. No vampire hunters in here? There's one. Ooh, that's a rare drop. I mean, that is actually such a rare drop. We, we actually... It's only the second one I've seen on the server. Drop. Throw it in here. Pair. Oh, yeah, that can't be stuck in there. I think this is one that can only be repaired with, uh, yeah, enchanting it. Cool. Uh, neither of which I have. But I will help you get them. Three hearts. We only need two more hearts. Give me your heart. Oh, and the sun is lightening up. Or is it darkening? I can't really tell with the rain. Yeah, hard. Yeah, vampire hunters can spawn in pretty much anywhere. They're a pain in the butt. Right. One more heart. Come on. Hunters. Hunters, where are you when I need you? Hey, hey. So hard heart. <sighs> Come on, hunters. Give me your heart. Put a little heart into it. Yes. Five hearts. Hello, vampire. Die. Now, what we do is we take the five hearts here, come over, stick them in this little heart-shaped spot, back up, right-click, and we have the structure done right. right. It's going to branch off to those, and yeah...
We have now gained another heart. We are now at level 5. Have we gained any new abilities? No. Well, did we gain any here? Yes, we have bat. We have summon bats now. Which is kind of pretty cool. I mean, if somebody's trying to get you, you can use it to get away. You know, distractionary bats. Alright, hello, vampire assassin. That's all good there. Ooh, stone. Stone. Okay, I've got more stone. Right, I'm going to make some into slabs. Do you want normal half slabs or do you want the brick half slabs? Okay, well how about I just bring you a crafting table? You can actually use mine. I'll even throw some more cobble in mine for you because I have the super fuel that, like, one piece of fuel can smelt like multiple stacks. It, it's not even funny. My furnaces are just in there. They are smelting two more stacks. Three. And I'm going to kill this vampire assassin. Where'd he go? Huh, okay. Guess I won't kill him. Now, what do we need for a, another level? Up? Let's see. A pure, one pure bottle of blood. One pure... Bottle of pure one blood, right? No, we need. F yeah, no, no, one pure one. I had the displeasure of facing a general, a vampire baron earlier. There was a level one, and I did obtain his pure blood. Just gotta find my. Don't tell me I lost it. There it is. See? We're going to gain another level. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This may make it where we are unable to uh, go out in the sun, even with our armor. Well, we're probably already going to be nauseous in it. Okay, so what you do is you take the pure blood... And stick it in the bottle slot. Shift right click. And don't get killed while by things attacking you. Level six. Nothing new. I'm cool with that. 
How high can we jump? Uh, still only two, it looks like. Yep. All right. I did not expect to progress two levels in this episode, but it is awesome to do. And for those of y'all wondering, a uh, random fact is that I fed on Lilith, and I'm the one that turned her into a vampire on here. So, yeah. That's something that you can do. Ooh. Real quick, I do want to open these. Uh, these are from the Weapon Case mod. They will give us a random sword from the mod. Some of them are pretty good. If you remember last server, I used uh, the sword Phantom for a long time. It came from this mod. Yeah, I'll come check it. Let's see, we got the Crusader. And what else are we getting? We got a long sword. Longsword only has as much strength as a diamond sword. It's a quality, crude, rarity common. The Crusader, though, quality unbroken, rarity uncommon. It starts out as a 9. Now, that is the Assassin's Blade starts out as a 10.50. So, 10.5. So we are still haven't got one better than the Assassin's Blade yet. Except our hammer, which is also a pickaxe. And we're going to quickly throw these bushes in there. The sun's up, and we don't seem to be too affected by it yet. Oh, that looks cool. Hello, vampires. Y'all aren't dying yet, so the sun's not hitting you. So I'm going to hit you. Oh, no. Sons. I now have weakness to... Indefinitely. As long as I'm in the sun. It's bad. What's bad? Yeah, it's irritating. Just wait till your vision shrinks. That happens. Yeah, that sucks. I'm getting the yellow thing, and I'm getting weakness, too. <coughs> I do apologize for that cough. I'm just glad I'm not getting damaged. Yes, we can sleep. I'm in my coffin. Nice and comfy. Never thought you'd want it to be night on Minecraft, did you? I don't know if we're gonna if uh, they changed one thing that used to be on here. Uh, furnace, my diamond furnaces. Uh, yeah, they're done. I'm grabbing it out for you, and I'm going to go throw some more in. Uh, one thing that used to be a thing with this mod, with the Vampirism mod, is that once you reached a certain level, creepers would actually run from you at night. It was hilarious to watch. I don't think that's still a thing on it, though. If it is, it would be really freaking cool. Nope. Can you see your camera? Cool. I have stones for you. There's a vampire assassin down there waiting on you. I'm going to go kill him.
another assassin blade. This one's completely undamaged. Wow. Yeah. 10.5. Hello, creepers. Hello. Hello. Are you going to blow up on me? Hee <laughs> hee. I love that mod. Alright. Now. Binded? I don't know. Okay, we want some of these trees. We're going through a lot of blood. Let's see. Bones for bone mill or bone mill already. Uh, you probably pressed the end button. That's what she's talking about. We're supposed to have a third vision type with this mod. I'm not sure why we don't have it. Unless there's some other thing you gotta download. I've seen the error before with other mods. It mainly just gets really annoying with it popping that message up nonstop. But it doesn't really seem to hurt anything. Like uh, Galacticraft did it. I want to say. No, no. It was actually Matter Overdrive did it. With one of its uh, little things you could make. That was like a galaxy map. It would do it. Shrubs, so we can make more of these guys. Okay. Now, drop that off, drop that off. Dead planks. Where is the item we want? There we go. We need to infuse undead planks with blood to make reinforced undead planks. Which then can be combined with the a blood infused core to make the colossal blood chest block. I might as well grab it while I'm done here. I already have a core somewhere. that and do that 
don't remember how much, I didn't notice how much blood this takes, so. Hopefully not more than we have. Although typically the more blood it takes, the longer it takes. Now, what's interesting about the Entangled Chalice is, let me show you. Here's a recipe for them. There's two recipes. One involves an Entangled Chalice. And what it is, is you make these first two, and then if you want more, you put one in and it creates another one that is in the same channel. Okay, one, two, three, four, and bam. I don't remember, is it the these that we need or is it just or do we have to reinforce them we're gonna find out quickly dig out a five by five room One, two, four, back over there. That is okay. Now we are going to need this room to be at least three tall. I would prefer it being a little taller than that. But I don't know if we're going to run into another room. We'll do that. Let's find out. No, we're good. We're good. Three, one, two. Yes, this is a multi block structure we are making here. You literally build the chest, leave the center block empty. Nope, we need it to be reinforced, but we can get exactly how much we need that way and drop these off. Now the benefit of this colossal chest is that like the blood infuser, it is upgradable. So we can upgrade it to hold more than the 10,000. We can upgrade it to be faster, more fuel efficient because you can upgrade this to be that too. Let's go, well, it's daytime. Let me know when you're ready to sleep. It's daytime. I'm not in a hurry, but I know you're going to want to. Yeah, the speed and other upgrades for these is... Ah, right here. Velocity and productivity. This is made with an iron block in the blood infuser. You're fine, just let me know when you're ready. I'm making reinforced undead planks.
Now, I do want to say, could you imagine mixing the vampirism with Tinker's Constructs for the heart canisters? Yes, that's not a problem. I'm checking my reactor real quick. Now, we're already getting some cyanide. We're almost up to being full, then we'll cut it off. Place these. Now, I'm not putting a chal the chalice in here yet. I may stick it in just to show y'all. But eventually, I will make a secondary chalice to put into the colossal blood chest. But at the moment, I don't have the gas tier that's needed to create the. Corrupted tier, which is just gas tier, infused with blood. Uh, it looks like about 10,000 blood, so not even that much. So many fun things that we're going to need. Oh, that's going to be fun. That'll take and open up a whole new world of pain for us. Oh, the efficiency and speed upgrade can also be used to make a ring that makes you walk faster and more efficient. So eventually, I'm going to be making that because it'll make it where I don't go through as much blood while sprinting. I'm almost afraid to see what this looks like over here. How are we doing? Oh, pretty good actually still. And, uh, uh, yeah, oh, this is good. Cool. Yeah, I'll go sleep. Ah, I'm gonna attack. Spider. <sighs> As a vampire, being out during the day is not to your benefit. Now, in between episodes, I may look into the issue of what's going on with our uh, third mode of vision. Uh, I'll see if there's some mod I can download to fix that. But, yeah, I, I, that may be something I'm never able to fix. did this again. As you can see there is a structure here. Walk away, come back, is it yeah. I'm gonna have to re-log. Disconnect. Reconnect. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Just had to open it. But yeah, look at this. This thing is, holds a massive amount. Colossal blood chest. We're going to fill it up real quick. It don't, doesn't hold much right now. So. But 
but it does the exact same thing as the small blood chest, but there's a less chance of getting the negative enchantments that the blood chest can put on. Because literally, it, one thing it can do is a enchantment that is uh, breaking. Your items will break faster. And there's ways to remove it, but yeah. Put that in there. Let's go empty this into the tank. How quit attacking me, spider? See, all I have to do is right click with it. But. I've done everything I wanted to do in today's episode. I've got a big reactor going. And full. Cool. Cut that off. I have the Colossal Blood Chest. And we even obtained two levels, which is not something I planned on doing in this episode. So we're pretty golden right now. I do want to thank everybody for watching. In the description, you'll find links to my social media. So as a link to Lilith's channel, I highly recommend checking her out. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.